Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving into some exciting WWE booking possibilities involving The Rock, Cody Rhodes, and Roman Reigns. Let's break down why WWE should break, book Cody Rhodes versus The Rock at the Royal Rumble in 2025, The Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 41, and why a triple threat match could be an epic alternative. Plus, I'll explore what WWE should do if The Rock isn't available for WrestleMania 41. Now, I know he did call BS on that uh, rumor this video was done or the script was put together before he called bs and that re report but let's just kind of for, for for fun let's just do it anyway and let's get started first up let's talk about why wwe should book cody Rhodes versus the rock at the royal rumble in 2025 number one it's a fresh matchup cody Rhodes and the rock have never faced each other in a one-on-one -on -one match this fresh matchup will generate immense excitement and intrigue among fans storyline number two storyline potential uh, Cody Rhodes, the WWE Champion, has been on a meteoric rise uh, since he won the title at WrestleMania 40. The Rock's return at Bad Blood and his stare down with Cody sets the stage for a compelling storyline. The Rock could challenge Cody's claim to the throne, questioning if he's truly the best. Number three, a passing of the torch moment. A match between The Rock and Cody Rhodes and Cody could symbolize the passing of the torch. The Rock, a legend of the past, facing Cody, a star of the present and future, would be a significant moment in WWE history. And number four, Royal Rumble hype. The Royal Rumble is one of WWE's biggest events. It's the one that kicks off the calendar year, kicks off the road to WrestleMania, and booking this match would add even more star power and draw significant attention, making it a must-watch main event. And also, it just it gets Cody Rhodes versus The Rock out of the way, which has been so heavily teased, and allows you to move on to the next matchup. Uh, which is The Rock vs. Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. So let's discuss why WWE should book this um, at WrestleMania. Number one, Family Feud. The Rock and Roman Reigns are part of the legendary and Hawaii family. This Family Feud storyline has been teased for years and would culminate perfectly at WrestleMania 41. We didn't get it last year, but we should get it this year. Or next year, I should say. We didn't get it this year, but we should get it next year. There we go. Number two, the Tribal Chief versus the Great One. Roman Reigns as the Tribal Chief, the original Tribal Chief, the only Tribal Chief, has dominated WWE. Uh, a match against The Rock would be the ultimate test of his reign. The Rock could challenge Reigns' claim to being the head of the table, probably more so than Solo Sokoa could do. Uh, number three, box office draw. The Rock vs. Roman Reigns is a dream match that would draw massive attention from both wrestling fans and mainstream media. It's a match that could break records and bring in huge viewership and you know WWE is all about matchups that can do both of those things and bring in huge viewership. And number, f and number four, a WrestleMania moment. As WrestleMania is all about creating unforgettable moments, and The Rock versus Roman Reigns has the potential to be one of the greatest WrestleMania moments of all time. You know, it's the biggest... It's the biggest uh, wrestling event of the year for a reason. What better way to create a moment, create some history, than having The Rock versus Roman Reigns finally square off. Now we... Now... Now let's explore why a triple threat match involving The Rock, Cody Rhodes, and Roman Reigns would be an acceptable alternative. I only throw this in here because I've heard on the internet that WWE is, you know, keeping all options on the table, and this is one of the options they have on the table. Uh, number one. High stakes. A triple threat match raises the stakes even higher. With three top tier superstars in the ring, the unpredictability and excitement level would be off the charts. Number two, dynamic storytelling. Triple threat matches allow for dynamic storytelling. Alliances can form and break, creating multiple layers of drama and intrigue. This match could explore the complex relationship between all three of these competitors. Uh, number three, Showcase of talent. All three superstars bring unique styles and strengths to the ring. A triple threat match would showcase their talents and create a thrilling, action-packed contest. And number four, uh, fan satisfaction. While some fans might prefer one-on-one -on -one matches, a triple threat match ensures that all three superstars get their moment in the spotlight. It would be a satisfying compromise for fans of all three of these wrestlers. So, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest... <laughs> I'm not very big on this idea of a triple threat match. I feel like it's kind of like a cheap uh, cheap way out or kind of taking... It's a cop-out of sorts. Um, 
Granted, I think it'd still be a great match. I know WWE could do it well, and it certainly would allow The Rock to not have to carry as much weight, just like they did with the tag team match at WrestleMania 40. But I just don't think this is the greatest idea. I'd understand if they do it, but again, I, I don't think WWE should go this route. Uh, and finally, let's discuss uh, what WWE should do if The Rock isn't available through WrestleMania 41. As I mentioned at the top, uh, The Rock himself did call BS on those uh, on that report, and Dave Meltzer kind of followed up on his previous report and said, like, hey, if The Rock wants to do it, he'll do it, which honestly, I think, no duh, I think, yeah, if The Rock wants to compete at WrestleMania 41, he's competing at WrestleMania 41 and nobody's going to tell him otherwise. But again, for fun, let's just kind of explore... Uh, this possibility here. So number one is Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns uh, round three. Three, that's why this would be number three, the rubber match. Uh, if The Rock isn't available, a rematch between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns would still be a marquee match. Their previous encounters have been epic, and another showdown at WrestleMania would be highly anticipated, especially since you don't know which way it's going to go. I, I feel like it's a toss-up between those two who would win. Uh, number two is a new challenger for Roman Reigns. WWE could introduce a new challenger for Roman Reigns. Somebody like Jacob Fatu, assuming they don't go one-on-one -on -one between now and then, and WWE's able to kind of build that up. Um, he could also compete with a superstar that he has a rich history with, like Seth Rollins. I don't think we've ever gotten a one-on-one -on -one match between those two at WrestleMania. I think that one's overdue. Uh, he could even do a WrestleMania 35 rematch with Drew McIntyre. Uh, I only throw him in there because he's just one of the hottest guys on Monday Night Raw uh, with his current work. Um, or you could even have a returning legend. Re uh, could, uh, Or even a returning legend could step up to face the Tribal Chief. Now, who that legend will be, I'll leave that up to you. Take some guesses. Leave some comments down below on who you think that could uh, and who you would like to see as a returning legend compete against Roman Reigns. Uh, number three is Cody Rhodes versus John Cena. John Cena with John Cena's retirement tour in 2025. A match between Cody Rhodes and John Cena could be a fitting main event. It would be a clash of generations and a significant moment for both superstars. And honestly, I'm all for this matchup too. I think it's a great, it's a great one for Cody Rhodes here too. Uh, number four, surprise return. WWE could always pull off a surprise return or debut to fill the rock spot. The element surprise has always been a key part of WrestleMania. Yeah, as I said earlier, it is the biggest show of the year for a reason. Um, so ultimately, even if, if if he is available, if he isn't available, WrestleMania 41, if, if it has him, great. If it doesn't have him, also great. It will, it will be fine either way. Personally, I'd like to see him there just to kind of take care of the rock versus Roman Reigns thing. Um, but, you know, again, they'll be fine without him. And that is it for today's video. What do you think about these booking ideas? Do you prefer Cody Rhodes versus The Rock at the Royal Rumble and The Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 41? Or are you excited about the possibility of a triple threat match? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more WWE content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.